really the Aegis that allows you to go high ground if you have this kind of early pressure push lineup. Right now, so this morning I was talking to Gods about it, and he was pretty confident about Fnatic, and I was like, nah man, Vici's got this, but oh, this mid opportunity, mid one. Yeah, mid one looks like he should be dying here. The Spike Carapace is really helping out, and they are going to be lacking bit in damage. Oh, he's but, got 15 uh, wand. They're still going to be able to run him down. The wand goes off. He has enough for a stun. Turn around two. The Supernova gets laid out. A couple more right clicks, and they should be able to finish him off. But oh, good. Midrare is going to die in return, and mid one's going to be able to survive. The A goes down as well. That's a two for nothing special. As Fnatic respond just in time. Mid one with the big stacks of Magic Wand is able to uh, prevent a pretty critical loss there. Hot damn. They're five manned up. I don't know how much stronger than they get. Yeah, that, that is most definitely true. They don't have any items that are going to be turning this fight uh, differently. You wait for the That's Guardian Greaves and then you go. Whereas Vici, they're stacked to the gills. They're just like, let's get into a fight right now. Maybe we wait for the Ultra Kit. Like, see, they go for the Smoke Fanatic. Yep, the smoke but they're just going to run into each other. They're right into each other. The Tornado's going to be the first one out. They do have the Serpent Wards placed aggressively. Net, probably going to die here. The Glimmer Cape actually saving him. Burning is looking for his target. He gets a two-man stun that's perfect. Being controlled up by the oh, Net. But still, Ice 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 is making sure these heroes stay grouped up together. There goes the Lone Droid Bear. Ohio's probably going to be next up as they got a pit, pit stop on Chen. Take him out. And now Ohio's going to be next up. They have the stun almost ready to go on Burning. He just needs to be able to get it out. Ohio will die mid one. He's going to be kind of stuck out as his sticky napalm is slowing him down. He managed to get a blink away, though, thanks to the spike carapace, and he will actually survive decisively. Then they've got another window of timing where they can go for this Roshan and accomplish a lot. But this has to work out for them. They not only need the levels, but they need that gold progression to get the, the next round of items for Silencer and Lone Druid if they hope to be able to keep up with a good farming hero like Sven, who is sitting uh, almost. He's actually getting close to 10k ahead of uh, most of the other cores of Fnatic. And Batrider looking for that initiation. Unfortunately, the Spike Herpes is going to be able to stop him. Good positioning from mid one. They're actually just going to be able to blow up Ice Ice Ice. Still, though, BKB and Superno are going to be laid out. Ohio, they're going to be able to turn kill the egg nice and quick on the left hand side. Burning is struggling to be able to get his hands on net, but the Glimmer Cape's laid out. They're actually controlling VG Gaming beautifully. It all starts with being able to kill Ice Ice Ice. And now Fnatic make a clean turnaround and are going to be able to take out VG Gaming. Looks like, unfortunately, they're missing out on the counter vision to be able to catch Super, but still. They must be wondering, like, what's going yeah, on? Yeah, they realize it now. They're going to start rotating, but it's going to be too late. Fenrir might get a kickoff, but Fnatic should be able to get that. Uh, the Aegis is still in there. Fenrir is going to jump in, try and Please. force it. DG is going to be forced to actually pick up the Aegis himself, and Fenrir now, really far forward, is going to be taken out. Tries to throw out the silence, but fight. Midwan managed to get the counter initiation on the Bull Super and FY. Winter's Curse gets laid out, controlling Ohio for the time being. They're going to send him back. Midwan, though, is not having a, uh, a good time dealing with this Elder Titan. Almost managed to burst him down entirely with the uh, nukes and the urn. The Splinter Blast comes in. Phase Shift is going to be able to dodge that the last second. And Burning not going to be able to find an opportunity for a kill. And uh, Fnatic actually now trying to go back in, but the waveform comes in. They're going to be able to take out the Shadow Shaman. And Minwan's still quite low, but he's going to play it aggressively straight into Super. Doesn't work out, though, and Super now has to stay one step ahead of Ohio. The Cold Embrace comes into play, and Fnatic definitely not a fight they should have turned around on. They could have accepted the fact that he just got an Elder Titan and killed Roshan, but turning to fight that with such low HP on so many heroes ends up costing able to play the, play the frontline hero. It's a little bit of morph to strength and the alacrity making up for the, some of the damage lost. That Splinter Blast is just brutal. It's so hard for them to hold high ground without their creeps. But these heroes aren't meant to hold high ground. Jump in from mid one, but immediately the Winter's Curse is laid out onto him. They're going to try and combo it up with a stomp and try and pop it afterwards with the Orchid. He does manage to get off the Yule Scepter, though. There's going to be an element of counterplay, but it's completely out of mana. Burning's down to half HP. They do have Mushi on the front lines, ready to go with the Reaper's Scythe, but Burning is just way too much HP as he goes full strength. And now Fnatic, they're going to be forced into buybacks to try and keep this fight somehow in hand, but it's just too late. Vici Gaming managed to keep every single hero healthy and take out three on the side of Fnatic. Four, actually, with that buyback. Lane of Rax goes down, and Fnatic use that as Which is actually going to... Oh, mid one! Oh, what? Oh, he managed to barely complete that TP and gets back to base despite Void being used there. One of those same frame instances. Uh, Super is going to be kind of caught in the bottom lane. Earlier, Fnatic were able to take that tier 1 tower because of a glimpse send back on the Razor when he tried to TP in to defend the tower. Fnatic are getting so much control, and they're actually going to back out three-man smoke 
Raiders. And are they going to turn back into the jungle? It looks like it. They want to just continue, try and force this one, and see if they can find an opportunity for Tidehunter to be able to use the Ravage for good. But Super is in a good position to be able to get a drain off until the Chen Creeps come forward. They have so much control over Super, they're able to just pop him down. FY comes in, but the Chen Heal's going to go out, and DJ's actually going to survive for quite some time. Burning is sent back, and DJ gets an opportunity to force another Void before he dies, or maybe not. The Body Blocks are not allowing FY to be able to connect that Void, so the Chen is able to get out. Now they look towards Ohio, but the Mini Stun's already been used, so he just TP's himself. Hold the line for as long as you can. Fenrir is going to be glimpsed back into the Static Storm. Another one of those big team fight ultimates willing to be used on the takeoffs. The Fnatic know the tempo of this game. They know that Beachy Gaming are unlikely to contest. And FY is actually going to try here, but Ohio does have the Ravage, and sure enough, they use it here. Catch up both the Kinetic Fields, and that means Super's not getting away either. Yeah, Vici Gaming is still trying to fight this out with Ice Ice Nice coming in from the side, but Chen still has the heal. This is looking so bad. Vici Gaming. They avoided team fight after team fight and then chose once to actually try and fight Fnatic and not a terrible surprise that it turns out to be a big loss. Yeah, Broodlings are going to try to split up the map, but they don't really care. They're going to yeah. go for the high ground now and...